Holding up what the state claims is the murder weapon containing the defendant's DNA, Assistant Attorney General Jay McCormick outlined for the jury what the prosecution believes happened November 3, 2015. Michael Pittman was gunned down outside his apartment building, and prosecutors say Adrian Stilwell pulled the trigger. Six bullets to silence a snitch, which is street lingo, for someone that you thought had provided information against you to the police. That's what the defendant was thinking as he pulled the trigger of that gun over and over while aiming at Michael. Pittman was struck twice. A wound in the torso would prove fatal. And McCormick says the irony is that Pittman never provided any information to police. He wasn't murdered for anything he did. He wasn't murdered for anything he said. He was murdered because the defendant and his accomplices thought that Michael had done and said something. A total of four people have been charged in connection with Pittman's death. The defense began their opening statement by proclaiming Stilwell not guilty and said the case will hinge on one main factor. This case will come down to who can you believe? Because despite the state's representations about scientific evidence, that's it. Two of the men who allegedly plotted with Stilwell about the murder are scheduled to testify against him, as is a former cellmate. The defense asking jurors to question a witness's motivation, saying while some have been promised nothing, others have been given a tremendous amount in exchange for their testimony. Michael Young, Nathaniel Smith, and Scott Collier. And I would urge you to be cautious and skeptical about what they say. The prosecution acknowledged that one of their witnesses believes he saw Michael Young discard the gun. The prosecution says they will prove that witness is mistaken. Reporting live in the newsroom, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.